Beautiful people. Yes, back with you. Back with you again. So I promised you a shipping company. I promised you a shipping company uh, that I saw downside for. Um, this is not necessarily as huge as I've given you on the FX uh, for move, but I think it'll be very, very potentially profitable for you. And it is uh, CCL Carnival PLC Ordinary Shares um, London Stock Exchange, and it is a short. It is a short again. We are shorting. We are shorting. Um, we are the reset people, and we see pain. Um, they're telling you all is well. We say all is not well. All is bad. All is bad. We love bad. We can make money in bad. And if bad means we clear out the crap so that later we can have good, we'd rather we get all the little vomit that must be puked up out of the bowels so that we can go forward and detoxify. There's no point in not finishing the job. Oh, such a tasty little metaphor this early after breakfast. Huh? Isn't he a lovely chap? Okay, so this is Carnival. Um, I'm on the two hourly. So let's just show you around this particular share. Uh, and it's very interesting because actually, not so long ago, I reminded many people that we called for this big high to be run up top here. So I'm going to give you a wee glimpse of the kind of lines that you will learn to draw in time as you become a price behavior specialist. Being shown them once, looking at YouTube's once will only take you so far. You need to learn the skill and understand the full reasoning behind it. And if I take the eye off, you will see this was a long. This was actually a long for us. We got in early round here. 2470 a long time ago five years ago and we called for an 80 percent climb for 4720 to be run and guess what it happened it did happen it doesn't always happen we're not always right i'm not trying to be too smart but that was a structure that played out and traded and we found it and on its way to meeting its second interim it had another little uh, setup that gave you a confluence here so you should have closed you got a small amount of overperformance then you got into this you got into that and I will show you what's happened and ever since then we have been bears 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 so our structure first uh, downside in a new trend note the target made note the pullback a lot of choppiness and then boom more downside lovely little wind up structure and actually you are becoming part of a structure that is in play right now it's a complicated looking chart so I'll take it off so what is actually happening um, you got a return move after making your second interim up to virtually your triggering level which was over there and we are in what we call a megaphone and you'll learn all about broadening patterns in the advanced section of our future currently being recorded to be uh, released. It's going to take a while. We're doing the basic stuff all over again um, to a higher standard. And that's being recorded as we speak and slowly released. So uh, you'll learn about that in rather advanced. But if you're in the sniper community, you're getting pieces of it already, as well as the library, as we are implementing it in the market in live situations. This is where theory and practical trading collide. We only do technical analysis and price behavior learnings and real setups to answer the one question. What is the trade? We are not. We are not for market uh, technical analysts that are there for the news commentary and to explain why retrospectively something happened. We are active traders. We are trading technical analysts and that's the game. So with all of this, let's go into the breakdown of the bear part of this. So I showed you around about 47.80. That was your target. That was all you got as an extra performance. We wound up and you broke down and this is how it's been rolling. I mentioned to you that ships, let's go find that link again. I'm going to do it live. Why don't I do it? I should have done it already. But ships, use DuckDuckGo, by the way, guys. Keep Google out of it. Keep Google out of it. Um, don't give them the information. So anyway, so the shipping industry has been, is facing um, a scenario where from 2020, 2020 shipping diesel. Let's put that in and bring that article up and then I can share it with you in the uh, sulfur regs will impact. So I was explaining about bottom of the barrel fuel, the really cheap, thick tar asphalt sulfur ridden grease burning garbage that they buy for real cheap and smog up the world nine of the biggest 
outsmoke all the cars with the, uh, the EU rigs and even the US trucks of the world. It's unbelievable stat that I still find, I don't know, if I, I feel a little bit uncomfortable mentioning it. It's kind of like somebody's told you a bad lie and you, you're fool enough to keep repeating it. I find it like, quantumly hard to believe but I remember actually going from Greece on one of those hydrofoil that stand up out of the water and go just about 70 knots it was like flipping turbocharged bus going down a hill those things went so fast and it had pipes the size of houses and it didn't have one of them it had about four or five of them and it was just churning out black smoke as it stormed across the ocean i did open water swimming in the greek cyclades uh, from island to island long distance we did up to six four six miles some most days around four miles that was the longest day and we'd have these things coming within a mile of us and you'd get a wake half the size of a tsunami washing over you uh, when we did that these things churn up those engines were huge anyway I'm getting all excited and I'm breaking uh, the tone of the video to tell you all sorts of bizarre stuff about swimming in the Mediterranean but I can tell you they are big and they are stinky and the big the big thrust of the story is the sulfur cap is coming and they're gonna keep taking you down from 3.5 to 0.5 um, and uh, this is what they're doing in other fuels but this is hectically going to affect the bottom of the barrel uh, zone and there's so many countries that have been signed up very few uh, are left wired out and that particularly the Europe all shipping is going to be badly hit it's going to push up uh, people uh, I've got the number of 3 million I'm seeing this article is 20 to 25 million the point is you, as a shipping company, you're going to spend a bunch more on one of your biggest outputs. Listen, if you think get going fast in a car and it gets real hard, you need much bigger horsepower to move the air out the way just to go. It's called the square cube law, by the way. To go twice as fast, you burn eight times more fuel. Just to push air out the way quicker for your car, wait till you have to start pushing water out the way. How expensive that fuel bill gets. Um, so shipping companies are going to be squeezed. At the same time, big reset. Big reset on. Yield inversions, let me tell you it's here. Everything is down. Everything is down. The properties are down. Uh, Australia is killing their currency to try and escape their, their uh, property bust. Everything is down and going down. Retail is going down. <laughs> The banks, my God, the banks, the financial sector, if you're not already short, you should have been. Um, they're all falling through their backsides. Okay, so that's the, that's the lowdown. So demand is going to drop on the front, uh, the top line. That's revenue. And then you've got a major cost. Hey, you can't just stop. You can't get away with polluting like you have been. Uh, I'm not sure I have a problem with that, but it's going to goddamn hurt these industries. So here we go. This is Carnival. And uh, I told you about this one. I've been flagging it. Now I say I've got to do this now because this uh, megaphone is breaking. You'll learn how we trade the megaphones uh, as well in broadening patterns. You thought we only do the pinch. Well, we are price behavior specialists. We look at volatility generally. So that's your breakout out of that. Note second interim return move to the funnel. Isn't that incredible? And now you're starting to break out of that grind line low. That is your megaphone. Down, down, down she goes. So what's the deal? What's the trade? Um, well, let me draw it for you. Um, and by the way, this is not a recommendation. I am an entertainer. Imagine the cards. I'm doing card tricks. I'm pulling an ace from under my armpit. Chickaboo. Ace of spades it is. Um, so this is purely for entertainment, not a recommendation. I am not financially regulated. I am a trader talking about trades and I use technical analysis and my own self-derived hunt volatility funnel method and we focus on constriction in volatility and also now showing you uh, something on a broadening and what it means. Okay, so this break is key and it is breaking there. So late entries for those, had you been with us, you could have been in up here. Uh, actually, that's a little high. Bring him down a little bit, Francis. Don't fudge the news. You could have um, at least been uh, short from that takeout point. If you'd been in from the very beginning, you could have actually, let's take you right back to the narrative. Those lines are going to fall out of kilter now. Uh, you could have actually been uh, short with a stop right up top here. I won't draw the arrow. Um, it'll drive you bonkers. Um, you'll think, look at all that's costing me by not being in the sniper circle and being with the community of HVF traders. And that's just going to upset you and make you feel bad. And I'm here to give you a trade so that maybe you can. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, so that's, that for me is a re- 
continuation of the inverted HVF method setup that is uh, set up here. So we aren't trading it for that target alone though. So you could be getting short here. Um, generally stops, let's do a different color for stops, pretty in the pink. Um, now I will take you down a color, a uh, color, a time. Uh, I'm doing that as well. Let's take you to the two hourly and have a look at this a little bit tighter. So I would actually say to you, now those arrows are of course in the wrong place, so we'll make them go away. Um, I would say to you, in fact, you can optimize. This was an attempt to go up and then you got really spanked. You guys are getting in late to the game, but it's still early in the big game. So late on the near time frames, not even that late, but you know, you didn't get up, you didn't get in at 38 uh, up top here. So what would be the possible trade for you? So here, let's break it down for you. A possible trade, and I shouldn't even say for you because I'm not recommending this. I'm just saying, I've added some more and this is what I did, okay? Um, I added on the high points here because there's megaphone theory that you don't know yet. But let's, let's tell you how you go from here um, if you were to. So you would enter, well, now it's breaking at that moment. So you'd be entering literally at the 3488 mark. So that would be your entry. Um, where would that stop go? The stop would be, you could be aggressive to try pinch your risk reward. More alerts popping, it's falling. Oh my God, this is breaking news. CNBC. This is the kind of trades they don't give you. They go buy stocks, buy stocks, buy stocks. Never sell stocks, buy. <laughs> anyway, sorry, distraction, distraction. He's getting distracted, stop it. Okay, um, so let's draw that arrow for you. Let's get out of back into drawing mode. All this jumping in and out of modes is also confusing the hell of out of me. Um, let's get the arrow, please. Let's have the arrow. So you could aggressively go there, just above that one. Now you're asking, that's the risk, okay? That's the red zone because you're gonna be entering short on the pink. Uh, you're gonna have stop aggressively there. By the way, if you're a little bit uncomfortable with the aggressive and you think it's gonna be a choppy and Trump might come in and say, try keep, uh, you know, how be all nice to the Chinese. Um, you might think it could get a bit choppy and you're a bit nervous. You can always put uh, a slightly higher stop there and an even higher stop up there. But obviously that affects your risk reward. And we like squeeze. In other words, we're comfortable with losing. We're comfortable with losing a trade to optimize a squeeze, even if it means we tap once, twice, three times every now and then. Occasionally you get it right first time. But where is the reward? Where is the reward, you ask? Because if you're taking that move right now at 34.88 and that high right there was at 35. Eh, it's about 35.65, I would say. Um, we could give you a more precise answer than that, but 35.65, it's a dollar. It's not quite a dollar. Um, it's about 80 cents um, that you're going to have uh, in there, 78 cents. What could you gain? Okay, so this is always what you do. How tight do I get and how big on the downside can I be? Right, so let's do that. We'll switch out of drawing mode and we'll go, whoop, uh, thank you for playing. I don't need you. Uh, we go up to daily. Give me that. Daily. Are we already on daily? That's why I'm getting confused. This is still a macro trade, guys. This is still a decent macro trade. So let's run you through where I think the possibility of the realm could be for the downside. So I showed you this bigger time frame view earlier. And I'm warning you also, there will be recession in my view. And we, they call it recession. I don't call it recession. I don't think you have normal recessions anymore. This is a paranormal, non-normal environment. Things could get deeply disorderly. You know that. But I just remind you of where I stand on that. Okay, so let's let's have a peek at those lines that are thrown out. So what I'm going to say to you is, you see that? Well, let's give you a quick uh, draw. The thing I want to show you is the possibility right in all of this that you have a kind of head and shoulder uh, construct that's going down. So let's draw, draw, draw. Um, that would be a left shoulder. That would be your rather large and bulky head, which was the target. And since then you've been in this down leg. That's our squeeze we like to trade. And you're watching that. Now the target for that structure will be in and around the 30 level. So you will get some form of bounce back there, but it should be lower then and I don't think it's going to be all milk and honey. So you might be asking where's the right shoulder. Sometimes you get a right shoulder and the actual structure of that is higher 
um, than the left shoulder slightly. Um, so you have an upside HVF at these levels to go up. And then before that, because this is a support zone, it had high level volume by price will be very high here. There was a long period of interaction. It was after you made the new high and took out that long period here. You would have stacked up your volume by price. You guys forgetting that. That's your Burj Al Urabia, whatever in Dubai, mega building. Um, so it'll be high here. So you wind up to smash through these levels and you, you had your rally in here. You had your rally in here. Let's take all those scribblings off. You had your rally in here. Let's give you a little look-see of those uh, support zones that we give you. That red line, this red line, I should bulk him up because it's quite relevant right now, is what you want to see broken. You invalidate that wind up on the journey to the upside. You invalidate that wind up. You broke into this funnel area and you've been churning. How did you break into that funnel area? With momentum. Always with momentum. It serves as support for a while and then with momentum. Tell me if this doesn't look obvious. <laughs> Once you understand HVF method and you fully at it, and believe you me by watching this, you're only going to get a, an, an inkling of what we're all about. Um, there's so much more to learn. Can you see the support? Can you see how it's supported? How it's supported on the way down, the funnels are key levels of significance, particularly the area of the break. So the break was over here. Whoops, bah. drawing, mate, drawing. Why did you forget your drawing? The break was here. This was your zone. Look at that support. Support. And then slightly higher support. And then what happens? Impulse of break into the zone, bounce off our axis and have a broadening pattern. What are you doing next? You will break that next on balance of probabilities, in my opinion. Um, it's not a million miles away, but you'll go there and you have a downside target to there. And then guess what? You'll have another funnel over here. So you'll have a little bit of a rally, maybe some new structure to break into this funnel. And then you will rally again, broadening maybe again, who knows, and break that run their target. What is that target? I'm giving you the numbers of a trade that we are in. That is that point down to an axis that we've chosen to use there. We could use a more conservative one of that axis over there, but I think you would already be pretty close there. It will be in the funnel if we did, um, but I think you'll be good for the 15.95 uh in our reset so your target is 1595 but you could be getting in at right now as we speak what is it right now as we speak currently three four eight nine it's down three and a half percent three point six percent guys that's what you missed by me doing this video today i just chose the order that i was going to do these unfortunately it's 3.57 you could have got in higher up but you got the korean one before that you got a little heads up on the usd jpy as a little plus my uh sidebar fork trade so you actually got two trades in one on the fx one always seeking to over deliver to you you also got uh, an equity um, Wells Fargo given to you uh, in the previous. That was your trade two. And now you're getting the shipping um, one. Wells Fargo, the financial services sector. The sectors I hate, cars, financial services, uh, cars and auto loans, uh, subprime loans, particularly in the States, go hand in hand. So particularly banks and financial services leveraged in that and student loans as we covered in that. And then energies, I'm seeing uh, pressure for energies, but not downside pressure. So we've got a, an, another interesting, and I may give you a bonus for one later, but then that's the end of the freebies, guys. You will have had everything you need. You will have had a smorgasbord of trades. Um, the premium guys are paying for them, but they're getting them first and there's plenty more. Um, so target 15.95. Uh, stop I gave you at the time um, and you're currently long uh, you're short at my apologies uh, let me take all of this off because I can't see the numbers when I have all of my scribbles on there uh, let's get back down to a shorter time frame and give you those on the shorter time frame just remember 15.95 15.95 he says 15.95 and then we'll give you we'll remind you of those entries again so target 15.95 get the drawing pen back um, target 15.95 and then you could be short at 34.88 how's that for a little haircut 
He's not shy. He sticks his neck out and gives you 50% plus. Come on, give me a little bit of credit. 50% plus market cap decimations. How many guys give you extreme reward trades with tight stops with 50% plus market cap haircuts? I feel almost bad. It's only 50% plus. You got, you got one that's one seventh of its full market cap potential still potentially to come to you um, but you've got to allow uh, short and where do you put that stop you can do the math for yourself I think you're good to go because there's been a tree key triggering event right there you're good to go on that level what is that level okay I'll give you the answer and this is a spoon feed this is a spoon feed it is not a trade recommendation I am talking aloud about things we do um, and you are watching and you are saying Maybe there's something I can learn. Maybe there isn't. So the high of that was, whoops, 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 35. Move. Let's get that one. 35.62. There you go. 35. Stop. Loss. Go back to drawing mode. Stop. Loss. 35.62. There you go, chaps. Less than 80 cents. Less than 80 cents. Two from that. It's 74 cents. 74 it's actually pence because it's uk so we change that c to p and what do you get from 3488 you get more than a halvening we're talking 16 does almost 35 more than a halvening in total you're going to go 16 it will take you to 32 plus another 288 you're going to be on 1888 plus five uh, pence 1888 1893 if that makes target so for 74 pence 0.174 of a pound you can make 18.93 pounds so three quarters does 19 three quarters does 19 19 times 4 divide 3 you're looking at your risk reward ratio that's how we trade guys that's how you properly make money that's how we trade that's how you properly make money 40 and 36, he says, doing his basic math because he's stupid that way. Divided by 3, 3 into 7 goes twice, and there is one left over. 3 into 16, 25 and a third. R, R, R. When last did you do that? Not bad, and you're late. You're late to the trade, and you still can do 25 RRR. Okay, chaps, that's your mathematics. That's your trade. That's the one I said I'd give you. I'm bringing it to you, and um, if you're really sweet and nice, you give me tons of retweets, lots of likes. You bump it properly up to the top. You may get a bonus uh, trade, and it is a killer. It is a killer, but you've got to love me long time. Love me long time. I'm a needy that way. I'm like a little hamster. I sit on the bars and I put my little twitchy nose up and say, scratch my head. Okay, enough of that. Enjoy your day. I'm Francis. I'm the market sniper, the crypto sniper. Um, you've got a triggering event right now on CCL and uh, you are still not too late. You're late by our standards, by the rest of the world standards. You are freaking early and smart. You could be getting a 25 and a third risk reward ratio done for you with all the levels. Watch it again, watch it again. Do not take the trade if you do not own your own outcomes. We can absolutely be wrong. This is non-advisory. It is entertainment only. Okay, bye then and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I look forward to catching you later if you love me long time.